Imagine a hidden power, dormant within you, waiting to be released. A power that not only transforms your life, but heals ancestral wounds that have been passed down from generation to generation. Along with all the wounds we have in our individual histories, there are those energies that we are unaware of, passed down through our ancestors. These energies reveal themselves as characteristics that we unconsciously reflect in our own behavior. Identifying these triggers and working to clear ancestral karma is some of the most effective inner work you can do to heal and evolve. What if I told you that the answer to your struggles could lie in your ancestral lineage? According to Jayotish, epigenetically 75% of the karma we carry is ancestral, which means that our lineage plays a huge role in shaping our lives. Right now, a unique opportunity presents itself to you, one of the chosen ones. Ancestral karmic debts, or ancestral virtues, and the environment in which we live are all determined by the karma we have somatized throughout our lives, the good fortune and virtue we have accumulated in our other lives. We often choose the ancestral lineage that best suits what we still need to learn and evolve in our spiritual journey. Family karma is the karma of your ancestral lineage, activated through your parents to you. You, as one of the chosen ones, feel that there is something deeper, a mission that goes beyond the ordinary, something that you have always known, but have never been able to fully express. This call is real, and it's here now. It's time to assume your role to awaken your true potential and to bring healing to your family and yourself. The transformation begins now, and you are about to discover the power of being chosen to release ancestral karma. When you think of your ancestors, what comes to mind? Ancestors are our predecessors and our own past lives, and they are present within us in our genes, in our cells. Therefore, the cells of our body contain echoes of our family and influence the way we perceive reality. Connecting with our past, with those who came before us, helps us find the strength and wisdom to walk into the future. We are the result of thousands of people who have lived, learned, created and taught. They made our reality possible, right or wrong. They honored those who had already passed through our earth. What they did in the past impacts present generations. If you are one of the chosen ones and the most spiritually developed in your family, you may be the bearer of energetic blockages in the karmic family lineage. You have carried this burden since birth and will continue to do so throughout your life unless you release it. It is a transmission of energy through physical and verbal means or completely energetic and subconscious. It can affect the way you interact with your family on an unconscious level. As a chosen one, you can also represent the ancestral healing of the male or female lineage on a spiritual level within your ancestral lineage, functioning as the sole guardian of your ancestors. If you are one of the chosen ones and were born to two spiritually burdened parents, it can feel like you are carrying double the load. Many of us don't get on well with our parents, and often this has to do with energetic ties from experiences in other lives. Everything is fundamentally energy. Therefore, our consciousness exists beyond physicality and the understanding of linear time. Each reunion in this incarnation brings a tangle of frequencies that are gradually awakened and brought back into consciousness to be worked on in a new life project. Your family members are consciousnesses you have known before this life and who have chosen to come to Earth together to continue the work of transmutation and balance that needs to be done. Depending on the path of your lives together, you may have opted for a more intense life in order to balance your karma. As one of the chosen ones, this responsibility becomes even greater. We are the source consciousness, projecting itself into the third dimension in order to better understand ourselves. From this perspective, there is no good or bad. It simply exists. 
You, as a chosen one, may have had karmic building experiences in other lives with your parents, from hurting someone else to refusing to learn a lesson. Everything needs to be in balance, so if you've caused a lot of destruction in some past lives, you may be on the other side in this life until you're ready to work out a new reconstruction in your relationship with them. Family patterns are passed down from ancestors to great-grandparents, from grandparents to parents to you. For example, your grandmother's theme may have been to be very charitable, always looking after others and letting herself be used by everyone. Your grandfather's theme may have involved alcoholism and smoking. This translates to your mother as an energy of self-sacrifice, signifying unfocused attention, a lack of love for herself or her children. These traditions are passed on in exactly the same way as oppression, false truth and hierarchy, perpetuating the system and keeping mass consciousness at a lower, denser level. As a chosen one, you carry the DNA karma that has been passed down to you. It can be incredibly light or extremely intense, depending on what you need to learn and heal. Your role is to identify these patterns and work to transmute them. You were chosen to break these cycles and raise the consciousness of your lineage. Each inherited trait and behavior is an opportunity for healing and spiritual evolution. By recognizing these patterns, you begin to liberate not only yourself, but also future and past generations. It's deep and transformative work that requires courage and dedication. You may feel the weight of family traditions, but you also have the strength and wisdom to change them. Essentially, our ancestors committed karmic acts or still carry remnants of unhealed emotional, mental and physical wounds from their lives on Earth or in other interdimensional spheres. This not only creates ancestral karma, but can also interrupt your ongoing spiritual evolution in the afterlife. As one of the Chosen Ones, you have the ability and responsibility to heal these patterns, interrupting the cycle of pain and suffering that has been passed down through the generations. As you work on healing the ancestral karma, you will discover that it positively impacts not only you, but also your descendants. By healing these wounds, subsequent generations will not have to carry these dysfunctional family patterns. Your journey of healing and transformation is an act of love and service that benefits your entire lineage. When the karmic pattern is not resolved, it is passed on to our physical and genetic DNA. This creates patterns of behavior in families and can be passed down from generation to generation. Ancestors who have passed away and have not recognized or accepted their karma energetically pass the karma on to their descendants. The descendants accumulate ancestral karma by passing through an energetic filter of the ancestors at the time of conception. And this becomes the energetic DNA as an element of the physical DNA. Having chosen you, let's move on to the traits that you are the bearer of family karma. You are the most spiritually developed and aware person among your parents and siblings. Your sensitivity and understanding of the energies around you stand out, allowing you to perceive family patterns and dynamics that others don't see. This heightened awareness allows you to recognize the emotional, mental, and physical wounds that have been passed down through the generations. You understand that these patterns are not just personal problems, but part of an ancestral karma that needs to be healed in order to liberate your lineage. Your mission is challenging as you feel the weight of family karma more acutely. Being spiritually more advanced, you are better prepared to face and transform these negative energies. You have the ability to identify triggers and dysfunctional behaviors, actively working to interrupt these cycles and promote healing. Your journey is also an act of service to your ancestors and descendants. By healing these wounds, you are freeing not only yourself, but also your family, 
allowing future generations not to carry the same burden. Your awareness and spiritual development are powerful tools that you use to bring light and balance to your lineage, thus fulfilling your role as a chosen one. You have always felt different from your family. There is a constant feeling of detachment, as if you don't quite fit in with the way they look and behave. This difference isn't just superficial. It's a deep disconnection that often makes you feel isolated, misunderstood, and even lonely. This feeling of being different is an indicator of your special spiritual mission. Your soul has been chosen to raise consciousness and heal the karmic patterns of your lineage. While your family may be entangled in old habits and limiting beliefs, you are able to see beyond these limitations, recognizing the need for change and evolution. Your role is to be the catalyst for transformation, even if it means walking a lonely path. You bring with you a different energy, a light that shines more brightly and has the power to dispel the darkness of past negative patterns. This disconnection you feel is actually a call to embrace your uniqueness and use your wisdom and spiritual strength to lead your family towards healing and renewal. Understanding and accepting your difference is the first step towards fulfilling your mission as a chosen one. By honoring who you are and the distance you feel, you can begin to work on transforming the dysfunctional energies around you, bringing harmony and balance to your lineage and thus fulfilling your divine purpose. You sometimes fall inexplicably ill and feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. These illnesses are not just physical. They represent a deep spiritual and emotional burden that you are destined to heal. The feeling of carrying the weight of the world is a reflection of your ability to absorb and process the negative energies and unresolved traumas of your family lineage. These illnesses are signs that you are dealing with karmic burdens that belong not only to you, but also to your ancestors. Your body and spirit feel the pressure to release these dense energies, and this responsibility can manifest as physical or emotional illnesses. By recognizing that these experiences are part of your mission, you can begin to work on healing not only for yourself, but also for your entire family. Your journey involves learning to protect and purify your own energy, finding ways to lighten the load you feel. Spiritual practices such as meditation, prayer and healing rituals can be powerful tools for releasing accumulated energies and restoring your balance. In doing so, you not only heal yourself, but also facilitate the healing of your ancestors and descendants. The feeling of carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders is a constant reminder of your importance and the profound impact your healing journey can have. Accepting and working with this responsibility is an essential part of your path as a chosen one, bringing light and transformation to you and your lineage. You've been mentioned in strange family affairs more than once. These mentions are not coincidences. They are signs that your presence and energy are perceived differently. Often, you are seen as someone who challenges family norms or as a figure who brings up issues that others prefer to ignore. These strange matters can include unexplained events, intense feelings or repetitive patterns that emerge in the family dynamic. Your ability to perceive and often verbalize what is hidden makes you a focal point in discussions. Frequent mentions indicate that you are a catalyst for transformation, someone who, consciously or unconsciously, brings about significant changes in the family. Being mentioned in these contexts can also be a reflection of your ability to touch emotional and karmic wounds that need healing. You are seen as different, perhaps even misunderstood, because your mission involves bringing to light what is hidden and helping your family to face and resolve these problems. Accepting this part of your role is crucial. Understanding that these mentions are a way of acknowledging your impact can help you better navigate these dynamics. You are here to break old patterns 
and bring in a new energy of healing and evolution. By being mentioned in strange matters, you are actually being recognized for your essential role as a chosen one, the one who brings transformation and light to your lineage. You recognize the family patterns in your parents and ancestors and have the necessary understanding to change them. Your keen perception allows you to identify behaviors and traits that are repeated throughout the generations, such as cycles of self-sacrifice, dependency, or lack of self-love. This ability to see beyond appearances and understand the roots of these patterns is a gift that few possess. Your deep understanding of these patterns is not only intellectual, but also spiritual. You feel the energies that have been passed down from generation to generation and understand the impact they have on the lives of each family member. This awareness is the first step towards transformation. By understanding the origin of these behaviors, you are in a unique position to break these cycles and start a healing process. Changing these family patterns requires courage and dedication. You need to be willing to confront and overcome the pain and trauma that has accumulated over the years. Spiritual practices, therapies, and a commitment to self-knowledge are essential tools for this work. As you transform these patterns within yourself, this change resonates through your lineage, positively affecting both ancestors and descendants. So, how does the Chosen One cut all energetic ties? Cutting all energetic ties with your parents and ancestors is a process that requires depth, reflection, and courage. As one of the Chosen Ones, you need to face the reality that the people around you may not resonate with the part of you that is different and at odds with the traditional outlook on life. Releasing ties with parental energy means, first and foremost, Releasing the energy of your mind and emotions. To begin with, it's essential to look inside yourself and discover the extent to which you live by your parents' set of illusions based on fear and judgment. This requires an honest and in-depth self-analysis. Ask yourself, what beliefs and behaviors have I adopted that are actually reflections of my parents' expectations and fears? Allow yourself to feel these emotions, recognizing that they are part of the healing process. Once you are clear about these influences and able to let them go, you will be free to forgive your parents and truly leave this stage behind. Forgiveness is not about forgetting or justifying, but about releasing the emotional and energetic weight you carry. It's recognizing that your parents are also on their own spiritual journeys trying to do the best with what they know. Cutting ties on an inner level involves taking full responsibility for your own life. This means saying no to the fears and illusions you have inherited, but at the same time seeing that your parents are not identical to these fears and illusions. They are cosmic travelers, just like you, trying to fulfill their spiritual mission. Understanding this brings a level of compassion and empathy that facilitates forgiveness. You'll realize that your parents did their best to love you the way they knew how. Even when their best seemed terrible, they were acting from their own limitations and experiences. Feeling this in your heart allows you to see their innocence and forgive them sincerely. Recognizing that, in a way, you were a victim of circumstances and your parents' ego-based consciousness during childhood is an important part of the process. You live temporarily and partly according to your illusions because as a child, you had no other choice. However, now, as a conscious chosen one, you have the power to transform this narrative. You face the paradox of the human journey. As a child, you saw your parents as heroes expecting perfection beyond the human condition, which challenged your growth. The irony is that the failure to realize your potential lies precisely in the lack of acceptance of the life that came through your parents, in all its entirety, with all the pain and challenges that were presented. 
By demanding from your parents what you believe you should receive, you miss the opportunity to achieve what you want through your own potential. From the child's perspective, life seems like a fairy tale full of happy endings. However, the reality is that life is a tangle of emotions, joys, sorrows, pains, contentment, beliefs, conditioning, memories, and ancestral legacies. Each of us comes with our own tangle to unravel. This is the adventure of the soul, and as the chosen one, you have the special mission of dealing with these complexities in a conscious way. The happy ending depends solely and exclusively on embracing life as it is. We are the heroes of our journey, and this is particularly true for the chosen ones. The truth is that the greatest treasure we could receive from our parents is already in our hands. Life, a field of infinite possibilities. If you are one of the chosen ones and were adopted and raised by another family, outside of your biological ancestors, investigating your roots can take a slightly different format. Many people find it valuable to research their adoptive and biological family ancestors equally, believing that adopted individuals are affected by both family lines. However, if you feel a stronger connection to the family that raised you than to your biological ancestors, you can consider your ancestors to be the members of your adoptive family. Your genealogical research can focus on them, and perhaps the spiritual bond with your adoptive family is stronger than the biological bond. Thus, your true ancestral lineage may be made up of those who raised you and loved you as their own child. However, if you have always considered yourself a stranger in your adoptive family, or experience a very intense bond with your biological parents, it can be valuable to spend some time trying to locate them and find out as much as possible about them. This search can bring a deeper understanding of yourself and the energies you carry. If, for some reason, you are unable to find your biological parents, you can connect with them spiritually, even if you know nothing about your biological family, linking you to ancestral information stored in the deepest recesses of your mind. Just be willing to use your imagination and it will allow valuable information to emerge from your sixth sense. Through you, life renews itself and continues. When you heal yourself, you help heal your entire ancestry. Taking life into your own hands consists of recognizing the greatness of your parents as channels for our existence. The father represents the path to life, what moves us. When you agree with your father, Accepting him as he is, you enable yourself to follow your own path authentically and fully. This acceptance is not just resignation, but a deep understanding that the Father, with all his imperfections and virtues, was essential to your journey. The mother, for her part, is prosperity, success in her choices and relationships. Coming into agreement with the mother, accepting her in her entirety, allows you to enjoy all the blessings that life has to offer. This acceptance is an act of unconditional love, recognizing that, despite the challenges and pain, your mother was the channel through which you received life. It's worth remembering that the power of ancestral karma cannot be overstated. Our lineage plays a significant role in shaping who we are and what we experience in life. As one of the chosen ones, this influence is even more profound as you carry the responsibility and ability to transform these karmic patterns. If you're feeling lost or unsure about your path, consider delving deeper into your ancestral lineage. This could involve meditation, rituals to connect with your ancestors, or even genealogical research. By exploring your roots, you may discover patterns and influences that explain behaviors and challenges you face today. This process of investigation can bring to light a deeper understanding of yourself and your mission as a chosen one. It can reveal talents and abilities that have been forgotten, fears and traumas that need to be healed, and the spiritual strength that runs through your veins. Each discovery is a piece of the puzzle that makes up your spiritual identity. 
By connecting with your lineage, you may be surprised by what you discover. You may find stories of resilience and courage that inspire your own journey. Or you may recognize patterns of behavior that you need to transform. Either way, this exploration can provide a sense of belonging and purpose that is fundamental to your spiritual evolution. So, my friends, reconnecting with our ancestors helps us understand who we are and where we came from. We need to take stock of what has been left behind so that we don't pass it on to future generations. We need to heal the wounds of our past in order to restructure our present and thus have more hope for the future. Just as we need to know and honor what our ancestors have left us, connecting with our ancestors provides us with a sense of continuity that helps us through difficult times. They have influenced our physical appearance, our current behavior, our unconscious, our energy. Transforming family patterns requires deep introspection and often meditation to get to the core of the recurring problems in your life. They are the result of behavioral patterns that once understood, you can begin to change. The process of transformation begins with a conscious choice. I want to be my own master, my own energy, my own soul, my own operator and carrier of karma. I am my own carrier. This decision is a recognition of your power and the responsibility you have as a chosen one to break the negative cycles. Chosen ones, you are full of power. One of the first steps is simply to believe it.